now we're to a shooting at the Courtesy Hotel right over there. Oh, look at that. Must be Wheeler Street. No. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah. So we're out to a call of a shooting. I don't.
Now the sergeant just showed up. How many charges does it take to investigate a shooting? <laughs> Three. So you're gonna put up new cop watch tape, huh? So what made us deserve an extra line of tape? What's that? What made us deserve an extra line of tape? Well, there's uh, nothing to uh, deserve. It's got nothing to do with it. I mean, you got your crime scene right there, right? So why put up the extra tape? Crime scene's a little bigger than we initially thought, that's why.
you have any other questions? Uh, did you get, was there a victim? Uh, was, did you guys find any bullets? Yeah, we're, 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 we're investigating. We're finding stuff. Okay. So they're claiming they found stuff. The crime scene's bigger than they thought it would be. And they're gonna let him in. So the crime scene tape goes all the way down here. They must be using specialized bullets here. You know, the kind that can go around corners and stuff? Shit, my camera can't even do that. How you doing? So, they're saying that there was a shooting that happened here. That's what went over the radio. Was anyone hit? He's getting life lighted? Or he's getting taken up to OSA shoot for my minute. Yeah. Well, if we only have two trauma hospitals I in mean, Portland. I mean, yeah. So. What happened, Bob? Apparently, someone got shot twice here. Yeah, yeah, actually got hit? Yeah, he got hit. Yeah. There's a guy in the United States who goes there, but there's blood all over right up there. He's a young kid. I've never seen him around here or nothing, ever. Huh. Well, I know the I know the um, motel. Is there any idea why he would why someone would come in, some stranger would come in? This is the fourth one in a month. Huh? This is the fourth shooting in a month. Huh? This is where my father-in-law worked. The one that died in the U-Haul. Yeah. This is where he worked. This is where he was coming from. Oh, really? When he died. That's a bomber. What did you do? Another day at the old shooting gallery. Yeah. So, Chris,
So for all you guys on my YouTube channel, let's try to figure this out. We have a dump of a motel, right? That basically caters to prostitutes, drug addicts, etc. A lot of drug activity here. Guy gets shot by a young black dude that's never been here before. I wonder what the shooting was over. Could it possibly be drugs? <laughs> I mean, we got probably one in, one in a million chance of it being a drug-related shooting. I'd ask my buddy Chris, but he's busy on his phone right now. So, Chris. Ah. Let's figure this out. You got a garbage motel, right? And, which has a reputation of for drugs, alcohol, and prostitution, right? Yeah. And you got a black man driving a black, young black man driving a black car that comes in and shoots someone. What's the chance of it being drug related? Hi. <laughs> or gang. <laughs> or So here comes a little shooting box. They bring that every time there's a shooting.
Another shooting. Another shooting? Yep. What did he where did he investigate that? Uh apparently the guy got shot twice. Oh, so it's a shooting. Yeah. How about you said no shooting? No, it's a shooting. Guy got according to a witness, guy got shot right right about here uh -huh. and one time in the shoulder. The white guy? Uh she didn't say. She said it was the black shooter though. Young black kid. Got shot twice? Yep. I haven't talked to the cop about it. How you doing? So, they're saying that there was a shooting that happened here. That's what went over the radio. Was anyone hit? He's getting life lighted? Or he's getting taken up to OSA shoot from Adventist. Yeah. Well, if we only have two trauma hospitals I in mean, Portland. Yeah. yeah. So. What happened, Bob? Apparently, someone got shot twice here. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, got hit? Yeah, he got hit. Yeah. There's a guy named Yanni out there, but there's blood all over right up there. He's a young kid. I've never seen him around here, nothing ever. Huh. Well, I know the I know the uh, motel. Is there any idea why he would why someone would come in, some stranger come in? This is the first one this is in a month. Huh? This is the first shooting in a month. Huh? This is where my father-in-law worked, the one that died in the U-Haul. Yeah. This is where he worked. This is where he was coming from. Oh, really? Where he died. That's a bomber. What did you do? The other day at the old shooting gallery. Yeah. So, Chris, So for all you guys on my YouTube channel, let's try to figure this out. We have a dump of a motel, right? That basically caters to prostitutes, drug addicts, etc. A lot of drug activity here. 
guy get shot by a young black dude that's never been here before. I wonder what the shooting was over. Could it possibly be drugs? <laughs> I mean, we got probably one in, one in a million chance of it being a drug-related shooting. I'd ask my buddy Chris, but he's busy on his phone right now. So Chris, let's figure this out. You got a garbage motel, right? And which has a reputation of for drugs, alcohol, and prostitution, right? And you got a black man driving a black young black man driving a black car that comes in and shoots someone. What's the chance of it being drug related? Hi. <laughs> or gang. <laughs> or So here comes a little shooting box. They bring that every time there's a shooting.
Another shooting. No shooting? Yep. What did he wear to investigate that? Uh, apparently the guy got shot twice. Oh, one. so it was a shooting? Yeah. How about he said no shooting? No, it's a shooting. Oh. Guy got shot, according to a witness, guy got shot right, right about here uh -huh. and one time in the shoulder. The white guy? Uh, she didn't say. She said it was a black shooter, though. Young black kid. Got shot twice? Yep. Is this a black juvenile? Did they talk to you yet? I haven't talked to the cop about it. If you're here, they're letting you walk all over the crime scene tape. <laughs> yeah, they had that already taped up. As soon as they see me, this tape came up. <laughs> that was over on Powell like an hour ago, Powell and 82nd. There's like a bunch of shell cases in the middle of the road. I thought that's going to do did anyone get shot or anything? And I was like, oh, I don't know, I can't tell you that. Like, why get the largest spots out there? Yeah. So, do you guys got the scanner for the Portland police now or not? We should, I mean, as far as I know. I don't work the desk, but I think we still do. Huh. What did you talk to where that person go? That person's still here? Oh, uh, female, yeah, she's around somewhere. Sorry, you're a cop, no one's home. <laughs>
your response time was impressive. It was. It was. <laughs> you got here quick. Well, I was on my way down Killingsworth when I heard it. Heard it. Yeah. So I got one victim, two hit twice. I haven't heard how many times hit, but I wasn't, I'm doing Southern stuff. Yeah. But definitely a victim hit, that's all I know. Yeah. How you been? All right. Black suspect driving a black car. <laughs> I know one of the tenants here. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. We're just hanging out for evidence collection part now. The exciting part's pretty much over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought they'd have forensics do it. What's that? I thought they'd have forensics do it. Yeah. Huh? They're on the phone with them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, uh, my understanding, the guy got shot like right here. Oh yeah. And once in the shoulder. So. Yeah. Like I said, I would. I didn't hear that part. I was doing a different job. So. Yeah. confirmation one person's hit. <laughs> hey, I like your mask. <laughs> that could shoot people off. Hmm.
So another supervisor just showed up. Hey, John. One person was hit twice. Were you here when the shooting happened? No, I just got here. Huh. This is uh, pretty incredible. Yeah.
We're ready to head out? Yeah. All right. Wheeler's Portland. See that? Where all the junkies Portland, can get everyone. away Check shooting up on the streets. Well, why not? The city won't do nothing, the DA won't do nothing, so why? So I got a question for you. Hey, young man. I'm here. Do you uh, do you donate any of this money? Yes, I donate. See, I've been all over the country. Give me one second. I've been all over the country doing this. Uh -huh. From Louisville, Kentucky, to the to the march in Washington D.C. Uh -huh. I do. I promote. Oh, yeah, it's called yeah. even when you're not speaking of it. When they see this on you, they still know what you represent. Right. So, but but every month, my wife sends some to Black Lives Matter. Really? To get your knee off your neck by our our sharp to help support. You know, you know, it also supports communism. No, it all depends what fashion you're going through. Well, it does. It supports communism. You you realize that Black Lives Matter gets a lot of money from the Chinese government? No, I don't know that. Fact. Yep. Uh, I didn't. I did the other one, man. Belt on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me get it for you. Go ahead. Sure. All right. Thank you. Yeah. And you got the white one, huh? All right, yeah. Uh, Where's my white one at? I do like the red hat. I like the Trump hat. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. I'll be here. I'll make it. Okay, they get money from the Chinese government. That's already been determined. Okay. Well, where did you get this information from? This came from the federal government. Well, from well, which side of the party? Democrats or Republicans? Both. They talked about it today. Both Democrats and the Republicans. Huh? On the on the um, station that does you know the Senate and stuff like that. Which station is it? Because I listen. Because some of them is pro Trump. And some of them is pro Biden. No, this is th this is it's the ones that have the uh, assembly in the Senate. Okay. You know the ones I'm talking about. The no, I think C-SPAN sure. or something like that. I'm trying to get details. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, both Democrats, both Democratic and the Republicans, sat there and acknowledged that China's giving. You know something. Huh. That the media put out, uh -huh. I'm crazy as hell. Because they didn't think what they want to feed the people and what message they're trying to relay. Uh -huh. So, with that being said, I just went to the Million Man March in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. 300,000 people there. Uh -huh. Have you heard anything about that on the media? No. You heard, about or you heard about Oregon and the police there where they can say it's a negative protest and all negative things take place. And that may have been about 30, may have been 100 people. You might hear about the one up here in Wyoming where they turned and burnt up and did all that. They'll put that on the news and show it. Mm -hmm. But they won't show anything about Washington, D.C. And I was there for two days with 300,000 people without one incident happening. 
So with that being said, they're hand picking the information, putting the clips together and creating the dialogue to feed the people, to feed their mind with whatever they want them to believe. So you're saying that Black Lives Matter is not involved in what's been going on no, in Portland? No, not necessarily, no, because there's a lot of anti-groups. I went to a protest right here in Oregon, uh -huh. okay? I've never seen nothing like this. I've been all over the country. Uh -huh. What they have at this protest is they had a, a, a first aid table. Uh -huh. Next to the first aid table, they had they were giving out masks. The next table were giving out helmets. The uh -huh. next table was giving out um, shields. Okay, mm -hmm. they were talking about burning down the police. They weren't talking about no solution. Everybody in there was in black from the top of their head to the bottom of their head. I, mean, I don't go to protest where they carrying shields, where they're putting ornament on your skin mm -hmm. to protect you from these bombs or whatever. And guess what? Hmm. 800 to 900 people were in that park. I mm -hmm. see approximately 10 of them were black. Right. So who could who could be promoting that? Who could be pushing that line under the blanket of Black Lives Matter? Because there's a lot of things that perpetrate to Black Lives. They'll carry a Black Lives Matter, but they may be uh, uh, LG uh, gay rights. Mm -hmm. They may have a Black Lives Matter because that's the biggest thing right now, and get under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. and be pushing something else. Yeah. So it's like the real ones are you, it's like you can find a clause or you can find something wrong with every group or organization going on right now. Mm -hmm. But what's big right now is this Black Lives Matter because it's coming out of everyone's mouth. They want a blanket. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the racism is so subtle but so consistent here in America, they're gonna find things not to not to follow through on the situation. Mm -hmm. A lady said this in, in the news the other day, and it kind of blew my wig. They shot a police officer in Los Angeles. Two of them. Two of them. Walked up to him, ambushed him, shot him. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about his, his scandals, is behind it, is sneaky and all that. Yes, it was. The ladies say, are you going to, you're showing all this enthusiasm mm -hmm. on how you want to prosecute this person, how you want to do that. Why don't you do that for the officers that have choked people out in the world, is tearing up the world behind it? Mm -hmm. You're not giving that same enthusiasm to make sure they pay the cost. But mm -hmm. this person that shot the police, they're putting all their energy and effort into making that right wrong. Mm -hmm. But they don't do that for other causes or other issues. Mm -hmm. They handpick what they want to do and how they want to do it. And, and you got me a little passionate about it because I've seen a lot of bullshit. Uh -huh. and you, you know, and, and this is nothing towards you. Mm -hmm. my, 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 the tone of my voice is not directed to you in any, right. any way. I'm just expressing what I have seen uh -huh. in this country. There may have been... Why is it when you get on the news you don't see the peaceful protests and you always see the prison? Why? Well, because peaceful protests are peaceful protests are are not newsworthy. Yeah. So what 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 dialogue are they trying to give the public, or what dialogue are they trying to give society, or what uh, political group? What is, what are they preaching towards that to create? Uh, this yeah. The what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're showing all them negative pictures yeah. and see all these people in all these masks. You don't know who they are. I know in Los Angeles, they showed this very clearly when they were rioting and doing all this. They had people wearing masks. They were covered. Bodies completely covered. Mm -hmm. They were walking down the street, breaking the window of businesses and all that. People protest. They break the window. Bam! It shatters, fall. Three or four of them run inside and stand there for a minute. When other people start coming in, they come out. Yeah. And they go to the next building, break the window, and do the same thing. Huh. right? I don't know who it is. But I'm saying, yeah. this is the type of behavior, and then they're painting a picture of that. Yeah. And these people who are doing it, you can't see nothing. All, the, all you see is their eyes. They're covered all the way. Hands, everything is covered. You don't know what nationality they are. Right. Well, you know the ride, the, the, the last ride Rodney King they had in L.A.? Mm -hmm. The Mexicans did all that damage. Pardon me? The Mexicans did all that damage. No, I was there. No. Well, I was too. I know, I know Rodney King. I went to school with him. I'm talking about the ride, though. They was the one doing all the 
everybody was doing low. I was going in the building with water this high, carrying out BCR. It was free. I'm, I'm not gonna sit up here and sugarcoat it. They're opening up every building on the block. You say, get it back. I'm not gonna say my actions were right. That's where my mind was at that time. I'm sure we've all done this. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's where my head was at that time. All right. I seen it as being free. I didn't give a damn about Rodney King because I know he smoked sherm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he probably was shermed out the day he didn't beat him up. And he made a lot of money and lost it all. Because, because he, he wasn't ready for no exposure like that. Uh oh. He, just, he was shown down, they happened, Miller, man from that building happened to film and he got paid. Hmm. He didn't give a damn about a protest, about the burning up, nothing, tearing up. I got nothing. tear gas. All right. On they my didn't hands have to from give those him shoes. Five million. They could have gave him 200 million, 200,000. He would have took them. Oh, yeah. You know? But I know the individual, so. I know what type of mentality he has. Uh-huh. I know all Okay. I just want to get your opinion. Did, did, did you get any answers from me? No, I just wanted to... to uh, Are you filming me? Of course. What's that for? Huh? What, right, this? You've been hearing me all day. Pork chop for what? Mayor. Pork chop for mayor. I'm a little Pork chop is a little dude in a wheelchair. Uh-huh. Has two dogs. Okay. Goes to a lot of protests. His dogs get pepper sprayed all the time by the cops. Oh, okay. So. So what are you? Are you pro Black Lives Matter or anti? Where do you stand? I'm anti. Okay, so I don't you're like, against the protest. I don't like. I don't like communism. Why are you using the word kind of communism? Because their leaders have said they're Marxists. Pardon me. Their leaders have came out and said they're Marxists. Set their marches? Yeah. Mar Marxist? Marxist. Marx. I can't pronounce it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with that. I'm, Communism. Me personally, I'm pro black lives, but I'm um, against the BLM movement. The, the actual BLM. BLM. Yeah. yeah. It's under the same blanket. There's so many things that, that uh, smoke screen. Just because you got, you got, you got all the white people black sabotaging. All the white people are sabotaging you guys' movement in Portland. Yeah. They are. I believe that. I, I mean, that's what you see. You see a march and you see broken windows. You know. I'm telling you, when I went to that march that day, and I've been, I've been to protests all over the country, uh -huh. I've never seen a demonstration of, of, with, with such negative intentions in my life. Yeah. Until I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I filmed it and showed my wife. She said, go get in the car. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I said, I can't believe it. Really? You're putting helmets on for what? This is not what this is about. What you fighting for? You, you're going to go burn the police station? What? Who does that? But they were under the blanket black line. Right. And, and it's, it's one of those things, you know, if, if you're having a wedding, right, and you, and you rent a uh, church, right, you invite me. And I go over there and break a dozen windows, right? You invited me. I'm your guest. You're responsible for what happens. Correct. Okay. Black Lives Matter invited Antifa. They didn't say, hey, Antifa, don't show no, up. I don't, it is not, it's not under one blanket. Uh-huh. understand. They're, 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 they're parading themselves. They use the Black Lives Matter logo stand and all that because that's grabbing the most attention right now in society. But they all have their own agenda. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so with that being said, mm -hmm. yes, I give money to Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. I give it to big organizations that are doing something with it. Mm -hmm. That. Like Al Sharpton, I didn't have a problem giving him five hundred yeah. because I watched what he did. Right. And I watched how he did. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I watched every step in and to put together a protest of that magnitude. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be certain expenses and overheads. Oh yeah, I understand. You, you know what I'm saying? And somebody has to give up. I I fully understand what you're saying. You know, and I look at I look at it this way. I believe. 
everyone's out here's life matters. Uh -huh. I don't care if it's a black man. I don't care if it's a white man. I don't care if it's an Indian. Okay. If, if that, if if any of those people died, they would have family members that would grieve for them. You're absolutely right. You know. You know something? I I was selling a shirt that said "All Lives Matter" because these women convinced me. Uh huh. And I had such strong resistance because of that. They were talking about it, it, uh, white supremacists created that, or well, well, whatever blanket. If they told me a whole bunch of that, a communist uh, yeah. say have created that terminology. The Nazis created the terminology. But I've had people, the people who come and purchased it from me. Mm -hmm. She said there, she said, you know, I'm not necessarily black, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. That's what caught my attention. Yeah. That they're putting all the attention on the black right now. But in, in reality, it's a blank and we all bad. You right. Know, why would you put it under one ethnic group? That's the only ethnic group that matters. And there's so many different races here in America. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, is but I got so much negative respond for it, I pulled back. I had too many conversations like I'm having with you. Yeah. Over that show. So I said, guess what? That, that's done. I'm yeah. done. People bought it. I was mm -hmm. providing the service for them, but it was like too yeah. much too much too much background. Yeah, you, there there there'd be a lot of threats. I get threats all the time because I sit there and say all lives matter. You yeah, know they, they, they put you they put you in a category. Yeah. They put you in a category and and once you get that label, label attached to that, it's hard to knock away that stigma. Right. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what the fuck you say. You can say you're a white sprint. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say you're hanging black, you're killing motherfuckers. You're doing a whole bunch of niggas shit. That's mm -hmm. what my head would say because of all the information I received from. Mm -hmm. I've already developed, I am prejudiced. And prejudice don't mean color or race. Mm -hmm. it mean I'm a judgmental and opinionated towards certain things if it's said. And I must say, I am prejudiced. When I, I might say homosexual walking the street. My head gonna go to some prejudiced ass shit. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It has nothing to do with that individual or his rights. Mm -hmm. It's just my own personal right. flaw. You, you know, so with, with that being said, is I don't have to act out. Uh -huh. I dislike. Right. Or my opinion. Mm -hmm. and whatever the hell they do. I don't have to act. No, I mean that's that's the thing. See, if if they if they if Black Lives Matter marched down the street, uh -huh. I'd support their rights one hundred percent. They have a right to do that. But the minute they throw a rock through a window, the minute they attack someone That's not a protest, that's something else. Yeah. That's not because the real Black Lives Matter protest that I have attended mm -hmm. that I have myself in. Yeah. They don't do no but they, they, they are people. When it first started, they started off as rioting and doing all that. People were coming from all over the country to certain cities just to engage in Black Lives Matter, just to tear up, just to profit and benefit of running into these stores. Yeah. They don't give a damn about any phase of it. Mm -hmm. But you know, when these large groups come together, I mean, I didn't agree with they're talking about they're going to go burn up the police say Who does that? Yeah. Who does that? What's your, what you going to benefit from burning up a police say For what? Bedtime. Huh? Uh, Bedtime. Bed yeah, what the, what, what are the people? I don't think. The yeah. Closet, but well, they were under the blanket of black life. Yeah. Well, they didn't just try to burn down the police station. They blocked the cops inside the police station, then tried to burn it down. I don't, how you doing, young lady? I'm so sorry to disturb you. Disturbing. Somebody told me that there was an orange cat killed like a block south of here. An orange cat? Yeah, and I'm looking for the body to take it to the vet to try to identify it. I was wondering if you guys saw a dead cat around here. I couldn't uh. find it anywhere. I know it's such a strange request. I thought wow. if you've been here all day, maybe you'd have seen it. I haven't heard about that. Uh, uh, okay. that that's sad. Uh. It is a sad story. Anyway, I just was We phoned the police. Oh. Over there at Rico's Pizza, over on 181st and Stark, they had a shooting. Apparently, someone uh, but the ambulance is over there. 
Okay, over here on 181st, they had a shooting. They said it was in front of Rico's Pizza. The driver is in the ambulance. What is the guy in the white truck? Can you see the hat? Yeah. See the hat in the back of the white truck? It's good. Oh, okay. 181st is Stark and Burnside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hey Chris, I'm I'm at a perfect spot. Um, I'm on 181st and Ash, and it looks like there's a 55 in the truck. In the truck? Yep. Okay. Um, I'm kind of just extended from the crime scene, but uh, 
I'm going to try to I'm just going to try to get you. Should I cross the street across from the Mexican restaurant? Yeah, go over to Don Padres, and if you can, get over that little, that little fence. Okay, bye. All right. <laughs> So how are you doing today? Good day. Yeah, looks like it. How are you? All right. I've been busy a while. Man, I've been busy with the wildfires. Are you safe? Trying. Well, you take pictures. Where at are you running around out there? Uh, Estacada and Malala, like a mile from the fire scene. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Uh, the truck was a stolen truck. Um, what I heard over the radio is that the guy came out shooting um, at, the cops? at the cops, and the cops shot at the driver, uh, which was hitting the leg. Um, and when I got here, someone said that there was a man dead in the back seat of the pickup truck. Oh, right here. Yeah. There's a pickup truck. There's a body in there? Yeah. Oh my god. That's what I was told by people in there, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, you can see it right into it. In the front seat? No, back seat. I can't tell. If you go, hey Chris, Chris, right here, look straight over. You can see the shoulder and the roundness of a head. Oh, and slumped <laughs> over? Yeah. Well, somebody might be slumped over in the back seat of the truck. Well, someone said he's dead. A uh, uh, cop? No, someone over there said that he's dead, and he'd be cuffs and out of the truck because it's a stolen vehicle. So, and one lady told me she heard like eight shots, so they probably hit him a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, someone told me that the dude, that there's a dude that's dead in there, and sure it looks like there's a dude slumped over. I seen this vantage point that I had to call you. Yeah. <laughs> All these sheriffs are stopping the county sheriff. Because they the, uh, the mayor, they uh, white uh, she asked all of them to come to the Portland police. So that, that's like the county sheriff right there. No, that's Multnomah County. This right here? Yeah, that's Multnomah County. So, okay, then uh, for the pro, then they're, she, they're sending some of... The Plaquemines County, because I, I was watching the, uh, her thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, so she, Plaquemines County, this Plaquemines County Sheriff was mad because she didn't contact him before he read that the Plaquemines County Sheriff was coming to help the Portland police. Uh, this so that must be him in the, um... Yeah, and you can even tell from right here, you can see the body's legs like that. 
Uh, the hospital the ain't that way, so he wasn't trying to get him to the hospital. This is one. I know. Yeah. This is one eighty first and what? Burnside. Yeah. There's the there's the ambulance right there. No, the if there any any gunshot victim out here, they're gonna go that way because there's only two trauma hospitals. Emmanuel, which one besides Emmanuel and OHSU. Oh yeah, so he was shooting that one, right? Yeah, but they'd hit the freeway to go. They wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't go down side yeah. streets. They shot at the police. But the they. Police to pull them over they did. Them. They shot at the cops here. The prop, uh, from what it sounds like, they probably pulled them over, and he jumped out uh, shooting. Oh, they got to be Damn. But it doesn't yeah, like it. It just turns real weird there. with the guy in the back seat, Dad. Like, were they mm -hmm. shooting that one guy and then hit the other guy that wasn't even shooting them? Well, That's what I want to know. But I don't think so. Well, I don't see any windows or any glass. No, the center window in that thing's gone. Huh? The center window's gone. Oh. Look, I'll show you. What is that? Come over, come over and stand right here, and look that way. Oh, see the middle? How that side's dirty, and that side's dirty, and that side's ama amazingly clean? That's because the middle's not there. He shot the middle part out. That'd be messed up if the guy in the back seat was just with the guy that stole the car and got shot <laughs> from the yeah. gunshots. That would be so fun. So one up. was in the back and one was in the front. Yeah, I, I guess that the one that was in the back was not here. Yeah, I think he's he probably, he might have owned the car, he shot him and then he took I, I hope he was. The cops don't need no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope it wasn't on no Yeah. Well, from that, uh, that restaurant. Yeah, that Yeah, from right. that restaurant there, uh, people sat there and said the per guy in there had a hat on that slumped over. But there's a hat outside on the ground, a black hat that yeah. in the middle of the street. Which should be, which would account for it because the thing is, uh, the police officers can't declare someone dead. They have to have the paramedics say, yeah, the guy's dead. So they're going to have another paramedic come since one of them came to put the other dude away, right? No. They probably already said it. They, they probably already said it. Oh, okay. But they, they, they were supposed to respond to paramedics because I guess some lady down there had a heart attack. I guess that would scare you, though, especially if you see something yeah. I've actually seen somebody get shot before. Which was, two. And it was, yeah, it was it's actually. That's just kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was talking to him. I was like, mm -hmm. I was like mm -hmm. Behind you. Oh, excuse me. It's all right. I was walking and, and then I noticed you were backing up and I'm like, uh oh. It's not on. Does this take still shots? Yeah. 
photo, okay. It says recording of still image is impossible. Yeah. So blurry, why? Oh. No. Bob. Yeah. No. No what? Come on, this side and look. Huh. That's not a body. It's not. That's not a body. She, uh, the truck was a stolen car, stolen truck. The police were pursuing. Um, and what we heard on the scanner was that shots were fired. Um, all the officers are okay, and the driver was hit in the leg. Yeah, um, I saw. It. It looks like there's some little hat over there. I almost think there's blood inside there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the driver was over there. Someone sat there and said there's a body in the back seat. So. Yeah, there's a body in there, so I didn't see all these cops today. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen this guy before. Yeah. I thought that was maybe like one of the cops. No, it's so. uh...
Oh, yeah. Well, what I heard on the scanner was a guy came out of the vehicle shooting. <laughs> At the dude that they took off the sidewalk? At the police. <laughs> and if you shoot at the cops, what are they going to do? Shoot back. <laughs> I'm just wondering why they brought two ambulances. Um, well, they're saying the driver got shot here and someone else had a heart attack. Jeez. Not a not a person involved in this, but someone else, someone that witnessed it, some lady right. had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. I she all right. Me too. I know that second ambulance didn't look like it had nobody in it. Hmm. Well, that's what went over the police scanner. I mean. The lady may have been shooken up and the ambulance people may, okay, yeah, she'll be all right. Me, I've seen shootings before, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I'm from LA. Yeah? <laughs> this is like every day. <laughs> this is like every day. <laughs> That's why I moved here. Uh -huh. I was just visiting a friend right around the corner and I heard bam, 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 bam. I'm like, them gunshots, because my son looked at me like, Mom, is that a gun? I'm like, yeah. That's a gun. <laughs> so, someone said that there's a man dead inside. Uh, looks like it, but Chris zoomed in and said that he thinks it's just a bag. Yeah, because I think if somebody was dead in the truck, mm -hmm. they would at least have them covered in some time type of something. Yeah. Well, 